During dinner service, I decided to do some investigating in the rooms. Dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. And after what I found, I gathered the hotel guests along with Afni and Brent. Hey, guys, come through, please. Um, just very quickly, glasses on. There we are, come through. If you can just stand over here. Pillow left-hand side, pillow number one. Mm. Can you see that? I can't see a darn thing. You can't see. Maybe Afni? Yeah. Explain to Brent what this is. Uh, spot. No, it's... Spot? You yeah. don't know? Yeah, spot. Maybe this one will be a little bit clearer. Blood. Yeah, there we go, honey. Well, that's disgusting. Right. Afni? Yes? Brent can't see anything. I... I... I uh, go ahead. Where... I, well, I see that, of course. OK. I see that one. Yeah. You see it. This is the worrying bit. Mm -hmm. These are the duvets that have been on these beds. That was just washed one week ago. Absolute, Every single one of them. Absolute rubbish. And look at this. I mean, these customers, the, they're the ones you're taking the money from. Don't you dare tell me that was washed a week ago. Don't one you dare. One week ago, I have Stop. the bills. We you have cannot be serious. We are serious. It was done, and that's that's it. We're not going to say that. I swear, I got the right. receipt. But I that got... is not clean. Oh, I that's bullshit. Clean. It was yeah, just it's done. Yeah, it's bullshit. And this, go on. Oh. I see that. But one week ago, that was cleaned. I'm done with this bullshit. The this is one year. Just stop. It was we did 13 of them stop one lying. week ago. And they're not cleaning them properly. Stop just for once today. Fucking lying. And look at this. I mean, that is not clean. That was just washed one week ago. Stop just for once today. Lying. Let's stay there two seconds. What the fuck? Did you have any idea you're sleeping in that? No, not at all. <laughs> I wish you can't I see that. I don't want to sleep stuff. in that. Brent? I... I, I see that. I want an explanation. Because all you've done since I've arrived here is lie to me. Lie to me, lie to your staff, and I am not going to allow you to lie to the customers. And I totally fucking disagree with that, too. I have not said one lie to you. Yes, I'm you not going to go for have. that. Yes, you have. No, I... You've been that fucking is lying to me all day. It's not true. You convinced that thought food is fresh food. You're robbing them of their cash. You're telling me this was cleaned a week ago. Let me ask you a question in front of your customers. Would you sleep on that? No. So why do you expect them to? Would you sleep on that? No. Not an apology? Nothing. Before my first night sleeping at the River Rock Inn in Milford, Pennsylvania, I decided to check it out with my black light to make sure there was nothing I wasn't seeing. And I was appalled to discover a vast spread of bodily fluid stains. Has this thing ever been washed? People pay to sleep in this bed. Unfucking believable. There is no way I'm sleeping on these sheets tonight. Luckily, I came prepared. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot to turn off the lights. Hopefully, a shower will wash away the memory of those awful stains. Shit! Look at this thing. Oh, fuck me. It's like being in Danny DeVito's house. Look at the shower. Come on. Oh, fuck. I feel dirtier now than I did before I got in here. I don't think the staff or the owner have any idea how revolting it is to be a guest here. I want you to come upstairs with me. I want to show you something, please, all of you. Time for a wake-up call. Good morning. Good morning. These are the guests that have been staying in the hotel. Now, you've all experienced over the last 24 hours a sleepover. And what I'm here to do is to help fix this place. I can't do it without your feedback. My biggest complaint was this morning when I took a shower, um, I had water up to my ankles before I got out. My shower head, I probably showered from here down because the shower head hit me about here. There was like bugs on the floor. And then I was sitting on the bed 
and then I saw a bug on the door too. I have back problems and this morning it was really hard to get out of bed um, just because you could feel the springs. The big question for me is that on the back of last night's experience, who would stay here again? A little raise of hands. I probably wouldn't come to stay again. Really? No one? Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope Ken is starting to see how his lack of effort at the inn is driving guests away. There's one more thing I want to show him. If this doesn't wake him up, nothing will. I'm going to show you something that is pretty horrific. Come in. Uh, just stand over there, please, three of you. Glasses on. Brace yourself, Karen. Awful. I don't even like to think of what I'm even looking at. It's like a fucking galaxy. This is foul. Absolutely foul. I'm shell-shocked a little bit. It's disgusting. It's truly disgusting. The seeing this makes me sick to my stomach. Oh, dear. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm just... It is a horror show. It was horrifying. I was thinking how many times has this room even been rented without being cleaned for all that to be there. Ken, you're running a fucking hotel, not a brothel. It is fucking disgusting. Start taking responsibility. I had a horrible night's sleep on the couch because I couldn't sleep in my bed. I really need a hot shower. Oh, shit. Fucking hell, this water's freezing. I need to open John's eyes, but he walks out every time things get difficult. So I've got another plan. Have you got two minutes? We do. There's something I'd like to uh, show you, uh, both in my, uh, my room. Oh, crap. What now? What's wrong now? Please, come through. Oh. There's the jury, and they're going to hang us. Clearly, you recognize some of your guests from the past six months. We do. I think feedback is critical. First impressions walking through the door. A lot of decoration. It's kind of outdated. Outdated, yeah. Too much. A too lot much. going on at once. I'd like to go on to the food. Um, the general consensus. Disappointing. How was it? Yeah, it was. It was too. It wasn't the value that we paid, honestly. Show of hands. How many of you would return and stay here again, please? None of our guests would return. I'm kind of speechless. I am. Um... I, uh, I didn't expect this. I thought it was. I thought we were better than that. That's the most valuable information you've had in 13 years. I thought we were a lot better than this, and that that is uh, a view that is changing. You've got to put yourself in the guest position. You know, you give me feedback on everything you've seen and experienced, but there's something I'd like to point out that none of you have seen. Please. Would you be so kind to put a pair of these on, please? Oh, my gosh. Can this just get any more terrible? I don't think so. Glasses on. OK. This black light is going to show up any bodily fluids. Let's start with the, uh, the pillows, shall we? Get there. like someone urinated on it. Absolutely disgusting. If you think that's bad. Oh. This kind of stuff hasn't been weeks. That's, that's years. Oh. oh, my. Absolutely hideous, horrified, disgusted, grossed out, kind of want to go vomit. But you kind of trust that things are going to be you have the right to and expect you, that. And you have the... This is just as bad as it can possibly be. I mean, I'm disgusted. I... <sighs> How does that make you feel? It Dirty. makes me actually feel sick to my stomach. Uh, that I slept on. Glad I took a shower, but now I'm wondering about the shower. I'll let you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you all very much. Thank you. This is me. I mean, I've put my heart and soul into this. <laughs> it's just so embarrassing. <laughs> I had to do this because you won't listen to me. And John just laughs at every problem. I understand. I understand now.
I think everybody's forgotten what it's like for guests to stay in this hotel. Dan, April. How much is this room? $250 a night, Friday and Saturdays, $180 the rest of the week. Let me show you what $250 gets you at the Monticello. Can I turn the lights out? Can you see that? This black light shows up bodily fluids. That's, That's exactly disgusting. what you're seeing. I wouldn't want to lay on that bed. Where are these mattresses come from, Philip? The house in Arizona. Your house? Yes. Wow. Those two holes there? That's cigarette holes. Uh-oh. Burns. Watch out. It's everywhere. Don't touch them. Oh, jeez. I was totally grossed out when I seen that bed. It was sickening. $250 to sleep in Phil. Oh, my God. Philip's semen right there. It is everywhere. <laughs> Does that make anybody else feel sick? Yeah. Because yeah. right now, I am fucking disgusted by this foul, polluted bed. I felt dirty. I'm a clean person. It was disgusting. I don't know why you're running a hotel. You're just ripping people off. You don't care for the customers, and you don't care for your staff. Who do you care for? I care about my staff. The first thing you said to me when I arrived here, Philip, what's the problem? Staff. They're bleeding the clock. Huh. No way. That's what you told me. I've got half it written down at home where I put at least 100 hours free in here. We will come in an hour, two hours early, not punch in, and then we will work late to get what we need to get done. You have an estate to the tune of 10 fucking million dollars and a chef that puts 100 hours in for nothing. Or is he lying? He's not lying. He's here all the time. I'm surprised you guys are here. Oh. I'm the only earner for my family, and I make 500 bucks every two weeks. This is fucking crazy. And you rock up here with a plate with hotel help. What the fuck is going on? These guys are your bread and butter, your fucking backbone. But they're terrified to tell you the truth. You can't keep on cutting corners and humiliating them because they're the problem, the fact that it's not busy. Look within. It starts from the fucking top. Amen. Yeah. Could you just excuse me and leave me here on my own with Philip? Thank you. Now, can you fuck your man up? I don't have all the answers, Gordon. I'm trying. Give me one fucking answer. Give me something. You're abusing your staff. What kind of message does it send to them when you fill the car park with classic cars? And they're fucking struggling. Do you think it's fair? Do I think it's fair? No. No. Do they deserve better? Of course. Why are you doing it? I don't have an answer for that. I don't know why I'm doing that. Get out, Philip. Leave me alone. Get the fuck out of here. Sleeping in a tub is bloody uncomfortable, but it certainly beats sleeping on that filthy mattress. I don't think I'll be able to relax here. I can't really escape the sound. Wow. And the longer the music goes on, the more guests complain. I can't hear anything. With Joanna giving away okay. rooms for free, the lodge is losing money, pushing this hotel further into debt. Hey, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. Have at it one more time for Polyrhythmics. It's way past midnight, and with the band finally wrapping up, it's time for me to get some sleep. Before I dive under those covers, I'm dying to see what's on top of them. That is disgusting. I am not putting my head on that pillow. Ah, oh, I just touched that. It's like a mosaic of semen. Look at that. Oh, disgusting. Oh, look at the lampshade. Look at that. How can they charge money for people to sleep in this filth? Wow. This is definitely a night for my sleeping bag. Right, lights out. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's 
I'm trying to sleep above a nightclub. Right? Follow him, follow him, he's going. Holy fuck, I'm gonna jump out the window. This is crazy. Oh, for God's sake.